welcome back to my channel. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppington? If you're new here, welcome, my name is Freeland. Welcome back to another week in my life vlog, except for I think this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter vlog because later on this, we have a lot of exciting things going on. I actually just had an amazing, impromptu, great day. So I woke up and I ended up going to City Center out in DC to meet up with a new friend who's gonna be like my new content buddy. She's a photographer and she wanted me to basically take pictures of her like lifestyle pictures in exchange for her to take some pictures of me. I don't know if that made any sense, but we basically took pictures of each other today. I'm really excited about this friendship. Even today where we went to go take pictures, I've been wanting to take pictures there for so long, but it would have been a lot to like go with my tripod, make sure that like nobody was behind me when taking the pictures when we were with somebody else who also knows like how to work a camera, what you're looking for to make sure that your hair and everything looks good. Like it's a really good combo. So finally doing a content shoot here and I'm so excited. This is my outfit. And I'm waiting for my friend Ambria to come. She could be on that side though, because there's actually two sides of them. I don't know which one she's on. It's pretty gloomy, but it looks kind of pretty over here. It's so embarrassing walking around here. I'm like, no, don't look at me. I was gonna bring my other one, like my work camera, but mm -hmm. I was like, people steal around here. Oh my gosh. And the last thing I need is yeah. to steal. Stay. No, where are you going? Sit down. Chris. Chris. Sit. Definitely check out those pictures on Instagram. Make sure you're following me over there at Breland.hunt. Um, did I already say if you're new here, welcome. My name is Breland. Yeah, okay. <laughs> After that, I did a solo sushi date because one of my favorite sushi and like ramen restaurants is like right around the corner. So I was able to walk out there and I did not realize what a beautiful day it is. Like it is beautiful weather outside. Y'all look at this beautiful scenery, Breland out in the city. I love to see it. So I'm here at the sushi restaurant. Let's take my AirPods out. You know when you have your AirPods in, you used to be screaming. <laughs> Just got my first, I'm eating sushi. And then I also got ramen. And it's such a lovely day outside. Like I'm literally thriving. The weather is so nice. It's beautiful, it feels amazing. By the way, I changed into a sweat set. That way I can be more comfortable. Yeah. I'm just enjoying my lunch. I'm gonna sit here and read some of your comments as well because yesterday's vlog just went up and it's doing really well. And you guys are all just saying that you just love seeing me out and about living my best life in DC and just interacting with my family and just enjoying myself and being happy. And I really am. Like, I'm honestly, genuinely, really, really happy. When you're living in your bubble, so what are you gonna do? that of course I had to do some shopping because that's just what we do right like once you're out and about and you're feeling good you go to Target so I'll show you guys what I got from Target and there's also a Marshalls in that same like shopping center so I'll show you guys what I got from Target and what I got from Marshall okay Target haul Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. The things that I got, I didn't get too many exciting things. Honestly, I went in and I only got half things that I actually really wanted and a whole bunch of stuff that I wasn't supposed to get, but I wanted new toothbrushes. You guys see, cause you know how TikTok will let you know how you've been living your whole life wrong. And TikTok says you're supposed to have, um, Oh my gosh, wait, I didn't, say, okay, anyway, TikTok says that you're supposed to use soft toothbrushes. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, apparently it's better for your teeth, better for your enamel, better, what? Better for your teeth, Better for your teeth, better for your enamel. If that's what y'all saying, I'll use a soft toothbrush. And it also says on here that it has a three month use indicator. It tells you when it's time to replace your brush, which I think is pretty cool. 
I don't know. I just got these. I used to use the electric toothbrush, but I honestly felt like my teeth were cleaner when I was doing it manually. Let me know down below what kind of toothbrush you guys use. You guys have saw in a previous vlog how I got that Nemat um, body oil again from TikTok. I really don't need to be on TikTok that much, but TikTok really does influence you. It's kind of crazy, but um, it was the Nemat body oil. He said to basically put it in like a small container and mix the oil up together and then like rub the oil on your body. Oh no. I need to pay more attention when I'm shopping. The little thing is right here. Chow. Or maybe, oh, is this how it's supposed to be? This was only a dollar, I, I don't know. I was on the phone while I was in there, so clearly I wasn't paying that much attention. As you guys can see, I curled my hair over the weekend. I curled it last Friday, if you guys watched the last vlog, for my graduation photo shoot. It has lasted the entire weekend. I think I may take my hair out actually tonight. That way tomorrow I can just like have it deep conditioned and like let my edges breathe, because I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. Uh, I am gonna get my hair press and curled or a silk press. I'm like so old school, if you guys didn't know, I used to be a straight natural. Like when I grew up, I wore my hair like as press and curl. So I still think to myself, oh, I'm gonna get like a, a roller set or like a press and curl. That's what I say to myself. And I'm like, no, it's called a silk press. That's gonna be my hairstyle for graduation. I definitely am a little bit nervous because like the weather is starting to warm up. It's gonna be probably hotter in Nashville and I'm gonna be wearing a hat. But I just decided that that's how I wanted my hair. So that's how I want my hair. I think I've worn this hair for like a bit now and I don't want to wear this with a cap. I think it's gonna be like too much hair. And what I've been needing is dry shampoo. Now I've had this brand before. This wasn't the same bottle. Like this one is longer. Basically dry shampoo, if you guys don't know, it helps to refresh and revive your hair without water. And it's really, really good. I feel like for when my hair is straight, even for days like today, like I've had my hair straight for a couple of days, but once you put like, you know, your edge control on it, if like it gets kind of gunky or it can get like really oily. So what do you do to refresh it without like washing your hair all over again? That's when you use dry shampoo. I can use this for when I have like this style in and also when I have my hair naturally straight, which is what it will be next week. So I normally don't work out with my hair straight, which is why I'm thinking I wanna try and go to the gym after this because I probably won't work out for like another two weeks since my hair is straight. Repurchase, y'all, I've been wearing so much makeup recently and I honestly, like I'm tired of it. Like when I did my makeup today, I was like, I'm honestly tired of doing the full face. But this is the first Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm and I basically just use this. Ooh, it's so cute, it matches me. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a cleansing balm that you just use to take your makeup off and it works really, really well. And I will use this either with like a microfiber washcloth or I'll use this with a makeup wipe if I have a lot of makeup on, but Oh, child, we about to be out here in these streets for the next couple of weeks, especially with graduation coming up. So I just knew that I might as well go ahead and re-up on it because I really do use this every time I wear like a full face of makeup and we're not stopping anytime soon. Okay, these two things are new purchases. Both of them are by Tree Hut. This is the to to. Hmm? This is the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Shave Oil. I feel like I used to have the shave oil like way, way, way back in the day, but recently I've been using the EOS Shave Cream, and I like that one as well, but I think, I think, I like this one, I think it's gonna smell better. So I decided to pick this one up and I also got the, I don't know if it's matching necessarily, but it's the Vanilla Shea Sugar Scrub because I finally have gotten rid of all of my scrubs. I feel like I kept buying all these like random and cheap ones and I was like, well, you have to use them before you can buy a good Tree Hut one. And I didn't even open it up to smell it because I know they all smell good and if it's vanilla, I knew I would like it. Like vanilla is just that scent for me. They definitely have better smelling ones this one's pretty basic, but I think that if you exfoliate with the scrub first, then shave your legs with this, then you put on a nice like body butter, and then you put on a vanilla like perfume over top of it, like the smell will definitely really stick and last. What all the self-care main and stay girly say to do, when I add them to my routine, I should smell even better for even longer. Oh, I am just a chatty patty. What? I am a chatty patty today. Let me make this Marshalls haul very quick. I haven't tried this on, but I hope it's cute. I just saw these colors and I was like, yes, it's giving spring, it's giving summer, it's giving outside, it's giving, you know, church Sunday. And I don't know, I just thought it was so cute. You can see it's like pink and orange and it's flowy. And I told you guys I wanted more, just like really nice sundresses that I could wear that are appropriate and like 
all locations. Always put a safety pin here or wear something underneath a bit. That way it doesn't, you know, show too much. And then also the back on this is out, which I think is really pretty. And I did get this in a size eight and I'm normally a size four, but it does come with something to like cinch in the waist. So I feel like the sizing, it may matter, it may not matter. I hope it really fits. If it doesn't, I'm returning it, but hopefully it fits. Okay, next up I got some workout pieces. I told you guys about how it's just getting so hot outside and wearing the full leggings when you're working out, it's just beginning to be a little uh, uh, suffocating. Really have never been a workout in shorts kind of girl. I just am a little bit like, I don't know, like it just feels like it's too much skin showing. But I saw these and I said, okay, maybe I would like working out in these. Like, you know, kind of looks like a skirt, $16.99. These two things, which don't go together, but they're the same color. So they definitely could go together in a really cute way. Here are the bottoms. Again, the same kind of like flowy bottoms that kind of look like a skirt. This is the front here. Oh, this was so so cute and you guys know I wear a lot of pink so I can mix and match this with different things and this is the matching well it's not the matching top but it's a top that I got to go with it and you guys know I've been buying a lot of these recently and I haven't been able to find like the perfect pink and I think this one is it the material is a lot thinner but I think it's also more breathable so it'll be good for this time of the year where maybe if I go like today I think I'll wear this where it's hot outside but I'm gonna go later at nighttime and I just don't want to go outside like in my sports bra but maybe just have something over top of my sports bra um yeah I don't know I just thought it was really cute it was a perfect pink and then it also matched this so I'm gonna wear this to the gym today it's gonna be my gym outfit and you guys I have just been getting so many compliments today <laughs> I have been saying that I literally I own the color pink okay pink is literally my birthright genuinely and literally my power color the things that are attracted to me when I wear pink like it's just everybody has to find your own power color and walk in it because yeah I just feel like I've had an amazing day I've been wearing pink all day a mug that kind of commemorates my first summer in DC it looks like this. Flamingos are definitely one of my favorite animals. Top two, I think my top one is a dolphin, but number two is a flamingo because they're pink, they have long legs, and they also are like in a cute little posse. They're like little dancers. So I thought this was cute. You guys know I've been loving my teas recently and my coffee at home. And I have a mug as well that's like the same size and it's like so perfect. So I figured, oh my gosh, it's like a hot pink one. So it's like perfect for the summertime. And it just, I don't know, it makes me so, so happy. So that's my little tar Target and Marshall's haul, a little bit of clothes, a little bit of body care, a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of mm, mm, mm. So now I have about an hour before, ooh, honestly like 25, 30 minutes before my My Sister's Keepers Reproductive Justice Cohort meeting. I'm probably gonna talk on the phone for the next 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go upstairs on the rooftop to take the class for this evening because it's just such great weather. Like I definitely wanna be outside. <laughs> finished filming a podcast episode it was uh, I think it's probably out before this one I needed to get this out before my season changes I feel this way all the time honestly whenever I have a little bit of a dip or a disappointment or like a downset in my medical school journey all the opinions start coming and it's like it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot and so I wrote this podcast episode a few weeks ago but I'm just not getting a chance to sit down and film it everybody should listen to it I believe I really try to explain how it can be hurtful why we do it you know based off of the research and you know why we shouldn't <laughs> why we shouldn't be projecting our insecurities on other people and how suggesting things like me being a PA me being a nurse me being a PhD me going into public health 
why those things are projections of insecurities and how they're just ultimately not welcomed in my journey to medicine. Even though I put myself out there and I share my journey here on this platform and you know we are a community and you guys are watching my journey, it also is happening real time in real life for me and how that can be very vulnerable and how it's not helpful to receive those kind of comments when it's just not something that I personally would do. So listen to the podcast episode to hear more about that. I think I'm actually going to sit and record another one as well. That way it's just out of the way. It's three o'clock now or actually maybe four o'clock. It's four o'clock now. I am kind of just like trying to keep myself busy until then. They actually had um, graduation rehearsals today. So everybody is together in Nashville, at least like 60 of maybe like 90 people in our MHS class. Of course, everybody's not going to be able to be there for graduation, but 60 of them are at least all there together. They were there since eight o'clock this morning and I'm watching people's stories and they're going out for drinks and stuff. And I'm just like, you know, like at home chilling. So it's it's so weird. I'm so ready to be there. That'll be the next vlog, me going to Nashville. I can't believe it's finally here. Um, and I was actually talking to my Spelman sister today who is in the Meharry program with me. And thank God for like using me. I just have so much, like I mentioned to you guys, peace during this season, no matter like what's gonna happen. I trust God's plan for me. And I know that sometimes it, maybe it's coming off that way to you guys. Maybe it's not because I'm living in the moment and sometimes my feelings are just coming out, you know, raw. But when I take time to, you know, be my devotional and meditate, I genuinely have a lot of peace about whatever this next season holds for me. And I'm so thankful that the Holy Spirit was able to use me in my conversation speaking to her to give her life. And I mean, it's the testimony still preaches. I'm still able to preach from the testimony while living in it. And that is powerful. So... I'm just very thankful that the Lord has been able to use me and that he continues to give me peace and I am just living my best life honestly I'm out here thriving by the time you guys are watching this you've probably seen it and if you haven't this is the announcement on the vlog ah! but I will be competing at Miss DC this year so you guys know the previous years I have competed in the Miss America organization in preliminary competitions leading up to and then also at the state preliminary competition of Miss Maryland in the Miss America organization and I am now a DC resident so I will be competing at Miss DC this year for the chance of becoming Miss District of Columbia and going to Miss America. So I'm really excited because it's a new organization but it's also something that I'm very familiar with. Um, Y'all know I love DC and I would love to serve the district and just get out there more and meet more people. I feel like it's a really great way to meet girls who are interested in the same things that I'm interested in and and just who have the same type of ambitions and passions and I don't know how to describe it but pageant girls are definitely unique and specific so I'm excited about the sisterhood part. I'm excited to continue to do the work that I've been doing with Birth Equity for All and have that as my official community service initiative and to have the opportunity to dance again and just all types of honestly fun things that come with pageantry so I know you guys have been asking me like if I was going to return because if you don't know I actually aged out last year and I have been praying 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 that they would increase the age limit I knew I said God I'm gonna position myself so that way when you bless me with an age increase I can compete in the Miss DC system. And so for a while, it was really quiet. Like I competed at Miss Maryland in June and all the fall semester went by. Um, they had Miss America in December and there was no word of the age limit being increased. And then in January, there became a new CEO of Miss America. She is completely revamping the Miss America organization in a way that's really fun and exciting. And she increased the age limit. God listens to me. Okay? Okay, he answers my prayers. I don't care what nobody else has to say. Get you a God that listens to you and listens to your prayers because I promise you guys, I have the words in my journal, my prayer book to prove it. I prayed, I was like, Lord, if I move, just bless me in this way. 
just bless me in this way, Lord. Please, like, make it, make it work, make it happen. So I'm so excited. The age limit is now 28 and I'm 26. So I now have two more years of eligibility where I can continue to compete in the Miss America organization and continue to chase after my dream of becoming a state title holder and competing at Miss America. So the competition is going to be June 10th. Of course, I'll be vlogging the entire experience. Actually, when I did the fashion show last week, that was actually something that was planned through the Miss DC organization. I didn't quite announce it yet. So if you guys want to support me on my journey, I do have a spot fund page, which is basically like a fundraiser for how much money I have to raise in order to be an official candidate at Miss DC. So if you guys want to, you know, give me a Zala, $5, $10, $25, 30 50 you know, whatever you want to give, I will leave it linked in the description box down below. I know you guys love the pageant content, so stay tuned for more pageant diaries coming up soon. I definitely will be shifting my focus to that after I graduate, but one thing at a time. I love just being able to focus on something. And you guys know patterns are the best way that I have experienced so far personal development. So I'm really excited just to get back into preparing for interviews and getting myself just like ready to speak about what I'm passionate about, what I think about things, go getting back to the studio and dancing. I'm already in shape. Um, they actually added the fitness competition back into the Miss America organization, which I think is like exciting, but it's crazy. So um, y'all been seeing, I've been in the gym, not for the pageant, literally for my own personal self. You guys have literally seen me on this journey this entire year. Like it was like my new year's resolution and I've actually just stuck to it. And it's great that it's also something that can help me out in this other goal that I have. So I'm excited to compete for Miss DC and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. And I hope that you will support me on this journey, which I know that you guys will because you're so sweet and stuff. So, okay, um, I think that's basically it for the updates for today. I'm gonna film another podcast episode my makeup looks so cute today it's just a nice soft glimpse I told you guys I'm into the matte eye what I want to do is go to the gym so that way I can just do a really nice sweat out and then come back wash it slick it back so sad to say bye to the glam but I already took my graduation pictures I took content pictures yesterday and if I do two podcasts today there's really no more need for this hair so by the time I wash it honestly if I could I would take it out today Today's Tuesday. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I actually need to, well, I guess I don't have to wash my hair, but I do want to do a deep condition, but she'll probably deep condition my hair for me. I'm like low key, really, really overwhelmed. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Um, I could barely sleep last night. I just had so much on my mind, so much that I've been thinking about. I've had paperwork that I had to do for Miss DC. I wanted to post about it on Instagram. I was thinking about this podcast episode. I'm like, I need to film this podcast today while my hair is, and I knew that I had the call with my Spelman sister because we planned to have that call to kind of like just check in on each other. So I'm just like really overwhelmed. It's all good things, like things are working out, everything's fine, but I am just a little kind of like, <gasps> that's the update. Um, I'm gonna keep working and I'll talk to you guys later. So I just finished, y'all are still crooked. Oh, I just finished filming the other podcast episode and now I'm about to go to the gym. Before I did, I do have this package that I want to unbox with you guys. This is one of the tops that I got from Marshalls yesterday. I didn't try on the dress, but I did try on one of the shorts and I didn't end up going to the gym yesterday. I was so overwhelmed. It's one of those days where you're just gonna be happy when it's over type of thing, but I need to get done the things I need to get done. Hopefully relax a little bit tomorrow get my hair done in peace and anyway I'm hoping 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 my graduation dress is in here and it's right here on top so this stuff is from Shein thank you to Shein for gifting me these items okay I'm so excited to try this on this is gonna be my graduation dress you guys it looks like this my Harry's colors are green and burgundy but this is giving I don't know I kind of like it though it's kind of like fuchsia ishly purple ishly whatever we'll see how it fits you guys get the vibe it's off the shoulder it is velvet so i'm hoping it's not going to be too hot and i actually got these shoes i think i showed you guys or maybe not from lulu's these are the shoes that i got to match and honestly i wasn't sure if i was going to wear them or not because they fit but they're not super comfortable and i didn't know how they were going to look mm, that may be cute i'm not mad at it who my graduation dress i'm glad that that's here Let's see what else I got and if I will pack anything for my Nashville trip this week. 
Okay, next thing I got is this really cute denim skirt. I actually already have a denim skirt, but the reason why I got this one, which I thought was really cute because you can see it like is a tulip style. It has ruching in the front here and then the back just regular. It's also a little bit of a lighter, you know, medium wash. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I got this really cute bustier top from H&M and I thought it would be really cute to do an all denim look. So hopefully this will pair well with that. If it does, I will pair them together when I try it on. This is going to be really nice for my post-graduation um, vacation. Oh, I'm a little bit brain dead, which is not good. I've been talking all day. I really need to like take this moment when I go to the gym. This is a lot more bright orange than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of like a burnt orange, but it's this really cute like halter dress. It goes over the neck like this and then it has like this these tassels at the bottom a nice little fringe and then i think this detail wraps and then kind of hangs so just a really nice vacation dress i like the material i don't know how to describe this texture it's not like knit but um it gives like you know summer vibes and i've been loving orange i mean orange is a really cute cousin of pink <laughs> so you guys right. know i have been loving uh, i just I've been doing really good at getting a variety of different colors when I shop. That way I just always have different outfits to choose from. This is really cute, a nice, simple, strapless, ruched midi dress. And it's in this really unique color. I don't think I have anything in this color. It's like a sea foam teal green. I'm pretty sure I used to have teal. I'm pretty sure I did teal vibes at one point in time. But yeah, I don't have anything recently or new in my closet in this color. So this is really nice to wear, honestly, anywhere, anytime. Perfect for the summer. Next item we have here is yellow. I love a good yellow for the summertime. Oh yes, I remember this. This is really nice. It's a two-piece set. So this is the top here. A really cute, just like high neck, flowy, what do you call this? Um, this is not ruching ruffled pleated a pleated crop top you guys know i'm not into crops but i really like this two-piece set because the bottom is this really nice long maxi dress actually and obviously it can go really high-waisted so the way that it showed in the picture it looked like it was a dress it didn't look like it was a two-piece set so if it shows a little bit like a sliver of skin it's okay but i think this is just so nice you can wear this so many different places i love a good maxi dress i love good flowy materials and i also love two-piece sets because then i can pair this skirt with other things as well this would be like a really nice skirt to wear to church oh i was actually thinking about wearing this for one of my graduation um outfits but it didn't come in time so i was going to pair this with my own custom like beauty and brains you guys know ever since i've graduated this being my third time last year and when i graduated from spellman i made custom beauty and brain sweatshirt that was like glitter so i was going to make one for meharry but the website that i used isn't up anymore like they don't have what i used to use anymore so i could wear this with my uh sweatshirt i low-key may wear this like to the airport so that way i'm comfortable in the airport and still cute and then wear this around campus and maybe take a couple of pictures around campus when i get there maybe i'll do that i don't know because otherwise I, I will still wear this skirt though especially in the fall and winter months because I really have been loving the midi skirt. This next item here is so cute for summer. You guys know I'm really into the bustier and the corsets. This one is like, it, it actually isn't a corset. It's very flimsy, so hopefully it fits well. It does have like the mock in the back. So I really like the colors. They're so pretty, perfect for spring. I will also probably wear this on vacation. Hopefully it fits well because it won't like really hug you in since it doesn't have a zipper and it's no boning in it. This haul is amazing. You got, you can't lie. I'm killing it. Ooh, and look at this beautiful color for our last item. Oh, oh, I remember this two piece set. Another midi skirt. Um, this is what it looks like. Again, you could wear this skirt by itself or together. I really, really like the idea of this ruched purple. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. It's like the cutest, cutest purple love this and if you guys can see you'll see when i try it on the um it's sheer for half of it but it does have like a mini skirt underneath which is really nice because you know it's just it's free flowing i feel like it's a really great way to do purple in the spring and summertime and then this is the top that goes with it it's off the shoulder like this and also long sleeves so pretty so pretty and i love the long sleeves again that are um, mesh and then they also have some ruching to it and then it has like a split hem at the wrist so a really really cute outfit honestly 
10 out of 10 haul. Everything is so fire. I'm super excited. I can't wait to try everything on. If you guys want to try out anything that I have shown here today, I will of course have the links in the description box down below. And I also have a discount code with Shein. I believe it's 15 B Hunt. If there's a new one or a different one, I will also leave that in the description box down below. So make sure you guys check it out if you want to shop at Shein. I don't care what nobody else say, I'm going to be a Shein girl. All right, I'm going to go work out. Actually, I haven't even talked to you guys all day today. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, so I, oh my gosh, busy day. I literally have been up since like 4 a.m. working on some things, trying to get like all my paperwork in for Miss DC. That way when I announce it today, I have my stuff in order. So I was doing that this morning and then I had to like take out my hair and then go to the hair salon. I was there all day. I came back and I was on FaceTime and also working on my paperwork stuff. I just announced it and it's now- It's getting ridiculous how I do a haul in every single video and I'm not even gonna be able to do one Oh my gosh, with lighting like this. Everybody else like ruin their hair as soon as they get it done. I literally have just been laying on it, but it's okay. Nothing that some flexi rods can't fix overnight. All right, we got a couple of packages here. Oh, more stuff for my Shein order. I've never seen the shoes come like this. It's really cute. These are so cute, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I've been really, really wanting some denim shoes. And I think that these are really perfect because they're mules, so they should be comfortable. Let's see, let's hope they fit. I think we've got a winner. I'm really trying not to. Okay, I may have to cut all that out because my Gucci may have been to the wind, but these are so cute. First of all, they're size 11, Bigfoot gang. Shein really does have some good shoes for Bigfoot. And then I love the like shape of the heel. So cute. Very, very cute. So new shoes. Y'all, I'm literally in my flowy mid axi dress era. I just thought this dress was so wholesome. I guess these must have come from somewhere different. So they came in a different package, but I love this color. It's so spring and pretty. Look at the beautiful sleeves, nice v-neck, and then it goes into this pleated long skirt. Really, I'm just thinking about things that like I can wear, like I said, to church, to brunch, and not having to be all like tight and right the whole time. Next up is actually this package from X Blade. Surprise to me, you guys know, or maybe you remember a couple of months ago, I did the That Girl Conference. That was hosted by X Blaze Magazine. So I assume this is just like a really cute thank you gift, which is so nice and sweet. Oh, look at this. I love a good cup, honey. You can never have enough cups. This is cute. Ooh, and she put some chocolates on the inside. It says that girl x Blaze magazine so cute and then it comes with the straw and a cleaner here 
Very nice. Ooh, and then also, oh, this is cute. Unleash That Girl, a keychain, an X Blaze magazine. These are nice. Oh, a bath bomb, lavender. I don't have a bath. I need to have a bath in my next place. This is X Blaze. So this is, I think, what do you put these on? Your car or stuff? Here's all the information. Sorry, my lighting is so trash right now. But very, very cute. Thankful. Ooh, and some champizzy. Some champagne. I haven't had champagne in a long time. I should really give this to my sister. Maybe I should pop this for my graduation. Oh, good. It's sparkling cider. Cheers. Yay. Thank you so much to X Blaze Magazine. That's really, really sweet. Last thing is from Walmart. I think I told you guys. I'm getting my vlogs mis mixed up at this point because I just feel like I've been, I've been on my vlog game, honey. But basically, I <sighs> placed an order at Walmart so that I could get the new Chick-fil-A dressings. But when I went to go pick it up, they were closed, so I couldn't pick up my order. They ended up like canceling my pickup order, but because I was already on Walmart placing an order, I also placed an order for some more athletic wear, because you guys know I really like their athletic wear. And honestly, these are just things that I've had my eye on to see when they would come back in stock. That way I could kind of like complete the sets that I already have. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I have a sports bra that's this color and material. It's like, um, maroon what do you call this um crocodile print so i have already the matching zip up and the sports bra but i'm just wearing it with black pants and now i have the pants to them they are you know little capris y'all know i like my long pants but it is also about to get really hot outside so now i have the whole set if i want to wear it together or separately i can this item i have the jacket and the pants already but the sports bra was never in stock is this a sports bra or is it a top? Yeah, it's a sports bra. And I have the same style in light blue, and I really like it. Not only is it nice to work out in because it's a little bit longer, but it's very supportive and just really cute and like soft and stuff. So this is in the color Indigo Pop. And so I was waiting to get this. So now I, now I have the whole set. So now I have two whole sets like that from Walmart. And the last thing that I got Oh, I have the pink top. It has like a built-in bra. It's just really comfortable. It's nice to work out in and also to wear casually. So I got it in black because I knew that I would wear this with anything. Like I literally could wear this with this instead of wearing, you know, whatever. So, and it has a really cute cross back. So again, this is from the brand Love & Sports, which is available at Walmart. And if you guys are unfamiliar, I do have a Walmart storefront. So I will have all these things linked down below for you guys if you wanna shop, as well as the things from Shein, um, and as well as the information if you wanna check out X Place Magazine. Let me know down below if you guys actually like my hauls, because I literally do a haul in every video. We have to chill out on the shopping, but some of this stuff was gifted as well, so. That kind of makes my shopaholic problem a little bit less intense than it actually is. I'm about to head out, so I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick before I got changed for the day. And when we come back, I just need to pack for Nashville because I leave at 6. My flight is at 6.30. I need to be on time. So I need to pack for that. I need to be, I should have already left. <laughs> I need to pack for that and um, I have a couple oh I need to pick up a package from downstairs oh my gosh I, my mom my air conditioning went out in my car I don't know what's going on and so while I'm in Nashville I mean there my mom is meeting me there too but she's going on Friday and I'm going tomorrow which is Thursday so she basically wants to take my car to the shop while I'm gone which is so nice and so helpful and I'm so thankful and grateful for it but I need to take a moment like to go downstairs and like find a way somewhere for me to like leave my key with her and it should be so simple like just leave your key with the concierge but y'all you know sometimes their brain cells ain't all the way there so I don't really feel like you know getting my feelings hurt do we like my hair it's like really cute right just a little extra something I think this would be really cute with a graduation cap so it's a beautiful day outside but I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit colder later and I'm just gonna go get tacos so I think I'm gonna wear this bodycon dress and then that way I can put this over top of it um I think that's really casual and cute that way no, I'm not on the way. <laughs> ah! Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'll talk to you guys when I get back and we will pack for Nashville. Oh my gosh, I can't believe 
I can't believe I'm going to Nashville tomorrow. That's a whole nother story. Okay, bye. I got back so late last night that I laid down for 2.5 seconds and I woke up at 5.45. I just packed my bags in record time. Uh, come back to next vlog to see if I make it to Nashville on my flight on time. And next week's vlog is gonna be my trip to Nashville and graduation. So make sure you subscribe <laughs> to see what the heck is about to happen next. Live each day to the fullest because you only live once. See you guys next week, bye. <laughs>